Content length and quality matters. Imagine you've written a blog post because you're answering a question, but the content is actually quite thin in answering it, or you're bouncing off the walls. You know, you never really answer it. You kind of go, well, what about this and what about that? And there's more questions. Or worse still, the clickbait posts that we see all the time. Hey, come and have a look at how this person looks now from because they were famous 20 years ago or something. And it's not until page 20 you actually find out what they look like or they start to give you a lot of backstory. Don't want the prologue or the intro or the prequel. Just get to the damn answer. So the post disappoints the user. Why are they going to stick around? Why would they want to revisit you? Why are they going to even bother sharing the post? Bad content leads to a higher bounce rate. What you must also consider is the length of the post. 600 words or more is usually the norm and a good bit of practice. However, don't feel that you've got to write up to or over 600 words unless the content requires it. So if it's a very simple answer to a simple question and your content is only 200 words, fine. If that's all you need to do, just do it. But if you're trying to explain something, try and make your post a little bit expansive. But at the same time, please do break them up with images and videos as well. But also remember, in this day and age, often we just want to go to a page, find out what we want to find out and move on. So you will see some people say, make your post very expansive. I feel it's more about the quality of it. Because if I read a really good post and I like it and they've got other posts, I'm more inclined to go and read it and maybe subscribe to their newsletter as well.